characters. Um, it wasn't until Battle of BC that we really saw Pandarian put up a really good fight against Esam. Um, obviously, DM not on that level, but is it to the point where Pikachu might be able to cause Wishes some trouble here? We'll see how these initial trades happen. I feel like if Pikachu can get his stuff started on Squirtle, it makes things a little bit more difficult because then you're forced to switch to Ivy early. Uh, but both of these players have a really good... Oh my god, he almost got the, 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 oh my. the, the Koopa step. Switching to Ivysaur because obviously grass resists electricity. Yes. And that, that, I know that's not the reason, folks. However, a very good reason is that Vine Whip, just a the, little bit the extended range, making uh, making DM think about his approaches just a little bit more. The tough part and of this, though, is if Peek is able to get uh, Ivy off stage, which is pretty easy for a lot of his moves, we'll be able to send him in that horizontal direction. It's actually really easy for DM to get out past. Uh, the initial upbeat and then really just force him to switch to Charizard really low. We see the Charizard switch here to 170, and this is going to be kind of rough for Wishes, only because Pika can really do a lot of stuff to the Charizard there. We see the Falling Air into the up smash. Might see Falling Air into down smash pretty soon too, but the back air on the quick attack, really, really good. Misses the down smash. Going to see the back throw here. Not quite going to kill at 144%. No, looking for the Flare no, Blitz. No, what are you doing? Maybe just getting a little bit, just want to make sure he gets the hit in, but I feel like he could have up smashed there and closed out the stock, but dash tackle do it for him at 175. We see him immediately switch over to Ivy now. Yeah, you got the feeling that he didn't really want to be on Charizard. No, and no. Yeah, not in the slightest. So now, forward throw. Going and to put him into the disadvantageous state. DM will be able to make it back relatively easily. He's but uh, wishes he's, he's got to be just a little bit more careful. Yeah, exactly, because... I mean, you're pressing uh, you're pressing buttons in the face of Pikachu, and Pikachus are faster. Yeah, Pikachus faster, and also can just you know, LOL, big body Charizard. You know, you're gonna see these initial hits go for 15, 20, 30 percent really easily, and really just outspace uh, the large lizard here. Look at it now, already 48 percent on wishes, looking really good and just really taking advantage of this matchup. But the falling back air from center going to obliterate Pikachu here. Wishes finally evening up stocks, but. Uh, Sitting at 50%, DM, he's uh, he's doing some damage. However, Wishes saying, you know what? I don't uh -oh, quite like uh -oh, this. Oh, uh -oh. no, he's in free fall. And yeah, Wishes. get him out. Holy smokes. Wow. That was, uh, I, I mean, I, I can't even say that was cheese because. No, it's geez, it's really hard to actually get Pika like that. But Squirtle with the water gun, with the tools to do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Looking for the down air, and this is the winner's semifinal match. So, winner of this does go on to top 32 and gains entry into that Royal Rumble. So, something to be said about that. However, looking for the grab, successfully gets it. Looking for the nair to follow it up, but uh, DM so elusive in the air. Been holding out a lot on these down throws, too. You know, Wish is going to be keeping an eye on that when he goes for his follow ups. Oh, tries to get the F smash on the quick attack in, just barely misspaces it and avoids everything the DM was doing, which is so important for Ivy offstage versus Pika. Oh, looking for the F smash, just raw off of the ledge, just anticipating the neutral getup. DM, nice. not it to him that easily. What a wait, what a wait. So brilliant on his part, knowing the Pokemon Switch was going to be coming, literally just says, I will let you have this, and then I'm gonna completely obliterate your Charizard. But now sitting at zero wishes, Go opting for the Zard versus a high percent Pika. A lot of moves are going to be able to close out this stock, but he has to be very careful not oh. to get hit. And boy, he didn't. <laughs> that back air enough to do it, man. Man, Pikachu literally bringing the thunder, but it's the lower, the lowering of the boom by Wishes. He's going to take it to one nil. And Wishes, I mean, he was definitely given a run for his money by DM. That Pikachu, no, uh, no laughing matter. Like I said, this matchup's hard for for trainer. Honestly, like Pika does really, really well. Yeah, and he wasn't connecting with that. Uh, he wasn't connecting with that back air nearly as much as I thought he would have. Just considering, and you saw him. Uh, he didn't really want to be Charizard. I felt like he more felt obligated to be Charizard, just because one, he was getting into uh, high percentages relatively early, and two, the fact that I mean, you can. Uh, that, that's 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 a pretty good disjoint that you have there. Well, and it I kills relatively early, and if Pikachu is going to charge into it, as DM was one to do as you go back to Pokemon Stadium 2, I feel like uh, you got to take advantage of that. In this matchup, you're probably going to see a little bit more Zard than you normally would, only because Pika can really take advantage of Ivy off stage, like we've seen. But you're right, you know, at early percents, it's really difficult. But each time we've seen DM really take advantage of this Squirtle, and oh no, oh, oh no, my. he got the he got the footstool on the uh, 
on the side B from Squirtle. Not a really hard punish, though. Yeah, no, that, that could have got so much more. I, I feel that could not. That could not have been intentional. Well, he, he went for it <laughs> earlier. No, that was completely intentional. No, he absolutely meant to do that and wishes it far enough out that he had time to react to it, too. Pika with Fair a enough. pretty quick uh, jump as well and you know, really advantageous for him. I'm just stunned that he wasn't able to get more off of it. I mean, maybe he just wasn't expecting to do it. Might as well go for it and see how, uh, see how DM reacts. However, DM sitting at 67%. Goes for the up smash it. there. I'm surprised he didn't do down smash though. This is still dire straits for uh, either character. Yep. And the thunder is indeed going to come down. DM looking to ride the lightning to a 1 1 draw here in this game number two. And there's these strings again, you know, and he's got to be careful here with this jump. See, immediately switch to Charizard still. He's going to have to come back against stage. Oh, gets out of the range of the flare bits there. And again, see what the punish is. Down air. Not a whole lot, but still, you're just racking up damage. You're already lapping wishes in percent. Up smash, not going to do it. DM, Ooh. oh. Yeah, you know what? You make a mistake, and wishes is going to make you pay. Wishes has taken three stocks of Charizard back there. That, that is a brilliant play from him. Because that, that move, while incredibly strong, takes an eternity to come out. Wishes. Sitting at 113%. He needs to even this up, but DM is going to give him no such luxury. That forward air going to take it. And yet, dude, you wish, I saw you shaking your hand. That burned you. Yeah, no, I was just kind of like mentioning that he's done at this point. Pokemon Stadium with these really, really short blast zones compared to the length of the stage. Going to take it out very quickly for him. I felt like that might not have killed another stages, but Pokemon Stadium is enough to do it. No, oh, Ivysaur, oh that Vine Whip. That Vine Whip. Not Hitbox. this time. My goodness. Looking like Dikembe Mutombo just swapped that out of the air. No, no, no. Not today, says Wishes. Oh, loops. Loops. All right, now 73%. Wishes was able to do this in the last game. Let's see what he was able to do now. Back throw. Going to see that to counter space. There it is. There it is. Oh there it my. is. I told you at the beginning, man. You did. Off stage versus Ivy, so hard for Pika to deal with. No, you called that. I, I got to give it to you, Broza. You certainly... Uh, I think you, I, I'm going to bro, bro Stradamus over here. I'm not sure if Wishers were going to be trying to go for a tech there that just didn't didn't pan out for him. The, the, the knockback from Pika, not enough to put him in a tech situation. But, you know, DM's going to take the air dodge off stage, and we're going to see game three here. If I ever make a pun that bad again, you have full right to slap me, by the way. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, I mean. I prefer Miss Broza, but you know, that's, that's that's me. Oh, oh, like Miss Cleo. Exactly, exactly. Oh, man. Well, shout, out, shout out to the 90s infomercials that has gone over the head of half of the half of the attendees here. Absolutely. Pokemon I'll say this. The cards don't lie. We'll have to see if the, uh, we'll have to see if the bracket lies. We have Wishes projected to win, but it's uh, DM. Certainly having something to say about that. This is why you don't trust projections, man. Because well, DM, he is uh, looking to make an upset happen. It's like in March a Madness, baby. You know, one versus four, not a not a huge jump, but enough to where Wish is going to be expected to win. Uh, but like I said, man, this matchup sucks. <laughs> See the loop? You know, out of context, that quote is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, Smashville for game number three. There it is, man. Then using the trip factor of the down tilt there. Good grab and, D and DM. Oh, there's that near down smash I was talking talking about. Not afraid to get in there and uh, and grapple with that Squirtle. Might be a little easier said than done. I mean, I feel like Wishes realizing that that was the case and switching out to the Ivy Sword. Okay, you wanna you wanna get in and try to dash grab on me? Oh no! The See how easy it is with the switch over to Squirtle. A miscalculation by Wishes, and just like that, DM. Takes the first stock of this best of this uh, of this game three. Excuse me. Give me the loops. Here we go, baby. Yeah, this is rough, man. Like I said, like it's a bad matchup, but wishes or, or excuse me, um, DM playing this to the best of his ability right now and really just trying to push this further and further. Still with over a full stock lead right now, 53 to 88 in the second stock. See how far he chases him off stage. Wish is going for the flare blitz. Yeah, no, punished hard. And only a 75% D uh, DM playing an incredibly impressive game. Now, I will say he's taken, I believe, three of the five stocks in this game with Charizard back air. So, you know, maybe this is just the secret. Maybe this is the answer. The, the worst matchup possible out of the three characters, just, you know, absolutely obliterating him at early percents. 
see what he does here. Step back, F-Tilt. Nope, Soul Shield. I mean, what has impressed you the most about DM's gameplay thus far? Because Wishes, he's definitely become a name in, in Tri-State, and he has lost this, uh, this first stock, but he's got a significant lead. What has changed? In, uh, oh. in your eyes from uh, game one to now about his gameplay? Well, really, it's just been him sticking to his game plan. You're talking about game plans, man. Uh, you know, knowing that Pika can really take advantage of all three uh, all three trainer characters makes a huge difference. Oh my god, the F-Tilt. This is not out of the re out of reach here for Wishes, though. These hard hits and these hard reads have been enough to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, this is Charizard you're talking about, Don't touch However my shield, baby. Don't touch my shield. Crowd getting loud right. for this, too. This is going to be New England versus Tri-State for one of the first times we're seeing here. Some of these top-level talents from either region. New England and Tri-State is quickly becoming one of the premier rivalries in the world. I mean, it was already up there, but... I mean, yeah, when you're this close and you're able to go between tournaments so easily, there's no reason for rivalries not to build. And I'm exactly. sure Timmer, Timmer, his sponsor, is going to be incredibly happy if he's able to pull off this upset here today. Wishes the third wishes was a top eight seed, actually, now that I think about it. All right, so here we go. Last stock of game three. A huge deficit right now for Wishes to come back on. It's going to be really hard, but not out of the realm of possibility. We see if he goes to the Thunder here. Oh my. Just barely air dodges past. <laughs> the jab from Ivysaur. Wishes not going down without a fight. You're seeing Wishes start to get really aggressive. Uh -oh. And you're starting to see DM get a little antsy. You've got to be very careful right now. You don't want to give up this lead. Vivid memories of oh top God. 32 in his head. Oh Wishes God. doesn't want to go again. And Wishes makes the comeback. You better believe he's going to jump at the opportunity to be one of the best that Tri-State has to offer. And he takes it. And how, Broza? What a heartbreaker for DM. You know, you can tell he's not happy with that. The crowd rushing up for their boy Wishes. And what a comeback, man. Had a full stock like behind every time in that in games two and game three, DM looked incredibly confident in that matchup the entire time. And, you know, sometimes it just works out. Ivy down throw into Vine Whip, incredibly strong, and Pika incredibly light. So you hate to see it, but, you know, so far the top seats have stayed strong. And you saw towards the end here, especially during the Charizard stock, that, you know, DM just got a little bit more and more antsy and just getting that initial read on the landing aerial into the down throw. So good on Wish's part, controlling as much space as he could in... Like I said, not a great matchup, so you know, overcoming that and overcoming the uh, the stock deficit too. Really good showing on his part.